that you get stabbed in that apartment. Yes. Man, you don't know who you talking to, Tom. You don't remember me. Yes, I do. I remember you. You give, you give a tattoo on my arm. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> You're OG. Man, I remember 415. 415, the city that we live by. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now, I'm going to show you the most important lining trick that you'll ever see. Now, I'm going to show you the most important lining trick that you'll ever see. Stand by. Bear with me. <laughs> Got you, bitches. Also, a good way, check your needles before you tap. Do the same system like I'm doing. This is how I check my needles prior to me tattooing. I'm not using these needles, so I don't need to wear gloves. Um, yeah, but anytime I'm going to tap, I'll check them like this. Instead of like this now, you know what I mean? I mean, I could check them like this too, but if I can inspect the gadget and shit, I guess. This is a good way to do it. Now we'll pay. Oh, he moved the mic a little closer to daddy. All right, pay close attention to the before and after. See what happened there? You know, I just noticed something. Is it me or is my damn nose getting bigger as I get older? I mean, these things are getting deep. Woo! Just had my birthday. I guess every year, you, you know, you have your birthday. After a certain age, you just tore up. I'm very tired. Anyway, let's get back to this. The reason I'm doing this, it is not to sterilize the needle 
And that's not what this is about. This is about one of the best tricks, not hardly known, but known to some in the world for lining and making bolder, crisper, solid lines. Thank me for that one if you didn't know it. Because uh, Google it, and I guarantee you some shit on Yahoo's going to pop up. And supposed shop guys are like, I've never heard of that. You might want to go to the doctors. Tattoo artist for eight years. Tattoo artist, I work in shop. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. For lining. So guys, don't fucking come up on here and tell me that you already know it. Don't tell me it, that you know it. Um, yeah, this is for lining. It's not for sterilization of the needle. And also, uh, I see shop guys saying, Oh, well, you don't need to do anything like that. It's a myth to burn the end. It's a myth. It doesn't work. Plus, it comes out of the package, so it's sterile. If you're using Chinese needles, it's not. Now is it? And the shit's QC'd, unless it says EO gas on it. Okay? If it doesn't say EO gas on it, the motherfucker was touched and QC'd by human beings. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, man. You will get some sort of... You know what? You're not. You're not. I take my shit out of the out of the package. I show them. I say, you know what? Here's some green soap. I just wipe it down real quick. Some rubbing alcohol. Because I want to stay clean. I don't want to spread MRSA. Regardless of what everybody thinks out there. I'm just a scratcher. If you're going to burn the shit out of your stuff, it's going to kill whatever's living on it. <laughs> they say that it doesn't work. And they say it's a myth. How's it a myth? If you burn fucking living creatures long enough, they're gonna pop. Come on, you guys argue with the fucking. God. So basically, what did I do? I used the lighter trick. One of the most important lining aspects or lining tricks that you could ever learn. Um, so what this does is, this was the same exact needle over here, so let me pop that one out to show you what the difference is and why it's awesome. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so what is the difference and why did I just do that? Um, well, let the haters hate, but if you didn't know that trick. <laughs> La. Um, what am I wearing? I'm wearing my favorite thinking cap. I'm wearing earphones. I'm wearing cologne. Pot. At least you're taking $10 or a dinner. 
I don't understand black lingo. What now? Then you should take the kids down with us. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Because I don't see nobody over here. That's why I was coming over here to bring the kids over here for a little bit. And that's why I was like, I don't see nobody over here. But never mind, now I see the kids. I passed by and I was like, there ain't even nobody here. I have a spot on my beanie and it looks like semen. Oh my god, Did that get you tinkly? What? Did that get you tinkly? No, I said tell me to lick it off. She doesn't swallow, bro. Well, too bad for you. You are her sister whore. What? You're her sister whore. I know that. Well. So, um, I haven't slept for a while and my pineal gland's open. Not a what? I haven't slept for a good couple of days and my pineal gland's open. What is that? Pineal gland is uh, the seat of your soul. It's the eye that sits in the middle of your head. Mm. Brittany, you don't know what the pineal gland is? No. I'm definitely going to have to school you. I have no idea what that is. My brain was just tripping. This looked like a vagina for a minute. I thought the bottom of my chin was a vagina for a second there. I need some sleep. It was like a little turf. You know Carrie that I've been there. Who that? Really? Who that? Really? Mike. Oh, I'll, I'll let you go then. I do. I'll let I you do. go. I'll let you go. Where are you putting this? I'll let you go. I'm talking to you. What? What happened? What, what are you going to get me for Christmas? I, I Can you make sure it's all... I was talking to you. Who? You. Me or he? You. What'd you say now? Christmas? Oh, I'm gonna hit you. Christmas. I said I was talking to you. Yeah, what do you think for Christmas? Uh, me and Santa are meeting up. I have invented a new special motor for his jet craft sleigh. And uh, I have to replace Rudolph's. Nose. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty stupid right now. Did you get stabbed in that apartment? Yes. Man, you don't know who you talking to, Tom. You don't remember me. Hey, yes, I do. I remember you. You get, you get a tattoo on my arm. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> You're OG. Man, I remember 415. 415, the city that we live yeah. by.